You know, while we're waiting for... What time is that professor coming? Ah. This guy will be like, Prof, this guy. I'm serious. That. So for me, going into barbering, it was me uh, trying to help people with that, to, to help them project themselves how they want to be projected. Mm. Cameras that we're using now, they they're not, uh, be, they were not originally used by Africans. So essentially, a camera for me is a weapon. Né? So mm. anyone who's, who's, who's using a camera for me, it's like... He's an agent. It's a... Uh, yeah. But baby, it's and I'm challenging everyone listening to this story. Maybe we need to have a discussion about our identity mm. as Africans. Culture is not something which is, which is, uh, you can't contain culture. Uh, culture has different forms. I, I, I don't think or me wearing the paper makes me more of an African than any other person. Just talk with DJ Cappuccino. Escape to the luxurious Meropa Hotel in Polokwani and immerse yourself in a world of Moroccan-inspired grandeur. With 54 standard rooms and four luxurious suites, our hotel offers affordable accommodation options tailored to suit your needs. Whether planning a conference or seeking a weekend escape, our hotel provides the perfect setting for your next adventure. For bookings, email sanmeropahotel at saninternational.com or call our hotel reception on 015-290-5400. You know, while we're waiting for... What time is that professor coming? This guy will be Prof, this guy. I'm serious. Yeah. I'm very serious. We really like. Yeah. On a serious note, I'm I'm getting you there. Uh, good great stories out, and if the other guy comes, uh, maybe we can stop the interview or or anything. But anyway, this is my Tamara. Uh, it's my barber. I've been working with him since we started the podcast. He makes sure that he gives me this look, especially these lines that I prefer so bad. So um, I'm putting him in a hot seat, and to just talk with DJ Kapaji because na manganga. Especially with these things, I don't know what he's smoking, but there's something that he's smoking that inspires him to always challenge me. And he always comments about um, this show and saying, you should have done this. You should have done this. So today we have him in the studio, in the hot seat. What's that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What's that? Yeah. Yeah. You know what I like? This guy thinks we are not recording. Né? <laughs> and he's going to see this episode going up. And that's going to be very lovely. Can I have a fun? What about Tamar? Relax, sit, relax. Relax. Okay, the, these mics are state of the art. They will pick you up. Oh. You don't need to say... Uh, <laughs> you can relax and talk to me. Okay, not really, but no. Our cameras didn't show me. Not really. Ah, not really, not really. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just getting a feel of it. 
Okay. How are you, DJ? Fine. Welcome to another episode of Just Talk with DJ Cappuccino, son of Gezani. Today I am with Madamara, my barber, <laughs> or you call them hairdressers or anything. But this guy, uh, we have a very good relationship. But every time we shoot an episode when he's here, he'll tell up, ah, oh, you should have taken this angle. You should have what, what? Hey, 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 Donald Trump. Hey, he's always talking about many things. So today he's on the spot. I want you to introduce yourself. Hello, I would like to uh, say my greetings to the audience out there. Relax. You don't need uh, to go like this. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I would like to say my greetings to the audience out there. My name is uh, Chaiki Madamara. Uh, yeah, for, for those who are questioning it, that's actually my name. Uh, and. Okay. What I love for. So yeah, I mean, as the G, uh, the GG just said, we we like to have. You know, he thinks what we are arguing. I don't think we are arguing. We're just having. Uh, oh, oh, feel like a moya. You always think oh, this seat is easy. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> not really. I feel like a moya. Hey, marmoya, wa uka mko pila No, I get it. Breathe in, breathe in, breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Yeah, you can fully fully introduce yourself. Um, where you from and where you working and how you got to be in the field that you are in. I mean, uh, last time I was in the field, I was in the field and I was in the field. I was in the field. I was in the field. So, I was in the field. I was in the field. Just give the people a little bit of uh, uh, your background before I was in the field. I was in the field. Yeah. Okay. Uh, as I said, my name is Chaiki. I'm a, I'm a barber. I've been I've been a barber for about four years now. Yeah. Okay. Though how I started barbering, uh, it's actually uh, I would like to say maybe a complex story, but uh, the short end of it is that I was doing uh, research. So whilst I was doing my research, uh, I found about like everything about that that had to do with. Af uh, Colonialism, uh, Africa. Colonialism and Baba. Yeah, I'm still coming. That's oh. why it's, it's it's a weird story. That's why that's why mm. I started like that. So, mm. so my understanding of colonialism and uh, apartheid, uh, that that's what led me to Babari. How that came about was that I was actually studying uh, the ways and forms in which uh, were used to pillage. Uh, Colonizers, so and I found in one of those ways. What is pillage? I don't know pillage. So pillage is like essentially to. Mm. The way I understand it, yeah. is the effect, or maybe it's just someone just comes in and just. Oh with no regard of who and why and who's there and that's how I understand the word. So how do you link it with barbering? So how I link it to barbering is that uh, image and likeness, right? So a lot of, even camera, the cameras that we're using now, they, they're not, uh, be, they were not originally used by Africans. So essentially a camera for me is a weapon. Né? So mm. anyone who's, who's, who's using a camera for me, it's like... He's an agent. It's 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 more like you're telling the story how you want it, you want to tell the story, right? So mm. if we didn't have access to cameras at that time, the one that has the camera is the one that's responsible to tell the story. Mm. So if the person that tells the story is not really has no regard to the uh, to the people he's, to, he's telling he's telling the stories about, so the story can just be uh, can can never be factual, uh, can never be. As it should. So, how first of all, how it came to barbering, I I, I perceived it to be because of of course I was unemployed. Mm. Uh, there were no opportunities for me. That's the simple answer, right? So, mm. again, going back to the the, the 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 main reason, I I understood that because of that, there's a post traumatic trauma that goes into every African, ne? Because now we have access to uh, cameras. Now you have your own uh, platform to put, put to portray yourself as the person that you want to be. 
our ancestors didn't have that. So for me, going into barbering, it was me uh, trying to help people with that, to, to help them project themselves how they want to be projected, mm. not how someone else would like them to be, essentially. So that's the long... So I'm just and short of it. Yeah, the long short of it. Yeah. yeah. So that's essentially how I got into So barbering. you are in a mission of... We are on a decolonializing program of right course. now. Your job is not just to just to hear. You are an agent to decolonize the minds of the people and assist in their self projection yeah. and Babe comfortable and very happy with their images. Of course. So you don't do styling and uh, 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 and stretch it. I, personally, I do, I do. I don't like using like uh, uh, products. To but you you have them. You do them. I I do. I don't do them personally, mm. but where I work, they do. But mm. personally, for me, like relaxing your hair and doing all the extra, I, I, I believe in just uh, leaving your hair to be, and we can work with what your hair is like, your hair type and whatever. I don't believe in like changing your texture, the texture of your hair. Mm. Yeah. I don't what's, what's your take on people who put on weaves? <laughs> personally, I, do, I don't like it. Mm. Personally. Uh, and for many reasons. Uh, one 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 reason I would say for 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 their sake as well because mm. as a barber I've seen a lot of women lose their hair because of all the glue that they have to put on their edges. Okay. So the, yeah. But baby, it's on to able to handle it. The edge. Ah, marabana lintu kam kuba baby it's on ganan to. Least front. Ke frontal. Frontal. In to let out bad energy. Of course. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. so essentially that's that. Like mm -hmm. yeah, because uh aesthetically for them I think or it does more 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 damage to their natural hair mm. than than them just leaving it as is. So, so I, I think that's my You you can also express yourself like as pain because more more I'm losing you. And then again you got the very same way upelangalena. I know that you use English all the time, oh, okay. most of the time with me, Mara. Yeah. There are some things when you want to stress them, you, okay. you use the Yeah, okay. I know. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for not personally, DJ, I don't think or like, uh, for one, but aesthetically, yeah, it looks good sometimes. Mm. Most times, not personally, I'm not, I'm not a big fan. I like them uh, having braids or a, a natural afro or a, a bus but mm. uh, to each to to each your own. So I think what if someone prefers a lace front, that's that's on them. But personally, me being a barber and what that does to mm. their natural hair, yeah, you're not, that's the that's the one thing you already flog out. It's not for me. Your girlfriends are they staying around Polokwane? <laughs> uh, 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 all of them, and do they have weaves? No, I'm, uh, I only, I only, I don't have girlfriends. It's not plural, but even the the, the, the person that I'm with, mm. I've I've never been. They know that I've never been a fan of wigs. They, they they don't wear wigs because I'm not a fan of. But I still think or uh, they they wear, they wear wigs. I think or like it's it's not necessarily up to me whether or not they should wear or not, but. Mm. The person that I'm with now, she does sometimes, but it's not a like a, a job for her. It's not like something which is essential essential for her to do. So are regular Peruvian hair or Brazilian hair? Uh, what what is your response there? Well, to be honest, I'll buy, mm. I'll buy it because again, that's what she wants. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So I, I, I wouldn't mind buying it for her, but if that's what she wants. But if she's, she's pushed to wearing it just because other people are wearing it, mm. still, yeah, I don't think what, uh, I, I would stop her for, from, from wearing it. No, yeah. no, I see. Mm. Um, I know you're a person who's always having headphones on and consuming news, podcasts, many things. Mm -hmm. I've seen that that like you like consuming knowledge. Mm. What caught your attention uh, locally lately? 
lately and there's a lot of things that caught my attention yeah. lately are uh, you can start by what politics mm -hmm. the, the politics of the day okay. also caught my caught my attention uh entertainment everything i think mainly now because of the season as well i think the politics is the one that is the one thing that uh, caught my attention yeah but before we get on the politics ne? Uh -huh. um i want us to talk about that is just in passing okay the advantages and disadvantages mm. of um weed <laughs> of weed uh for 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 me or general no 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 general for recreational purposes whatever but you how you view it the advantages and disadvantages of weed okay because i think you're not ashamed to talk about it i'm um, not even mm. i think because it's a broad uh thing and i i would like to just answer it based off my own personal okay uh, capacity based off how, how it I makes you it. feel yeah not for me personally i'm, I'm a person who always I, I don't like to diagnose myself with illnesses and uh, and stuff but i think i have a bit of anxiety mm. yeah, so that helps with my to calm me down to just like relax me and also after a long day it, it's it, it gets me into a mood of uh, being able to relax after a long day and mm. i can actually sleep well after after i smoke so you smoke it in the morning during the day and at night how often do you smoke it oh, well it depends uh, i will, I, I don't have a regiment mm. on how i smoke it daily but you no know, feel the need yeah if, if i feel like smoking coming down because mm. again anxiety is, uh, so you know like there's a lot of things that that are happening in life so now oh, you just need to yeah. just calm yourself down to let your mind rest for a bit mm. yeah I think you have a powerful brain that really really needs to be contained so that it can rest. I hear that weed makes you makes one be what he or she really is. Like mm -hmm. all it clever you it's a clever. Mm -hmm. And now I think truly because uh, uh <laughs> the time I smoked with like I, I became bar the bar I am. I couldn't think of anything. I was like nigga no jam then you ask me about something and after three minutes I'll go, oh, uh, then I'll answer that like it, it, it's slow. Then I realize that mm -hmm. maybe I'm slow in nature and even kagra mm -hmm. weed is going to slow me more. And then that was the last time I tried. And then um, I tried it because of which most of the time it happens, especially drugs, recreational drugs. Mm -hmm. It was through a beautiful woman okay. who offered it to me. Mm. And I felt like if I don't take it, I'm uncool. Oh, I see. You understand? Mm. And then um, I was interested in the woman. I was in Swaziland visiting there and gave me this mm. weed that after two pulls, I felt like they're pouring water on my head. And mm. that thing, and Kababar. And mm. I couldn't even do the things that I wanted to do to her. <laughs> because of because of that weed and then I said ah that's not you mm. if you, you, were, you were not able to do the things you wanted with her. yeah I, I, I don't know I but don't apparently know. it was because Yana you know, it was okay and even the other people that were smoking but I was like no more okay. uh, uh, unless maybe at gunpoint no I see then and then maybe I can take it but let's go to politics what what attracted you because I always uh, like uh, love your views on things. Okay. And in most cases, you'll bring certain angles I couldn't think about. Okay. about. And I know that oh, I hijacked you to yeah, sit here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm already enjoying this. I thought the yeah. first five minutes will be saying cut, cut. But mm -hmm. I think we can go on now. Yeah, we can. We can. Yeah. yeah. yeah but politics, you know, very, you know, it's obvious because uh, I didn't vote. Uh, you've, been give, you've been bashing me for that. Mm -hmm. And my reasons for not voting. You didn't even register. I didn't even register. Mm -hmm. I w I've always told myself I would. I would. I would just. Uh, it's just coming. I'm, I would. But and you can never even do it with it. your phone. I can even do it with my phone. Mm -hmm. The thing. The thing is about about the whole politics thing. It's it's confusing for me, ne? Because on the one hand, I don't understand. Um, I don't understand politics all the way. 
but I have some level of understanding to understand that the politics that we are actually in now, mm-hmm. uh, mainly South Africa, I don't think it's actually... Uh, what, the, it's not what they make it seem as, as if politics is because now from my understanding of, of uh, politics or democracy yeah ne? democracy is actually the definition of democracy is majority rules or selected pre- uh, representatives of the the population mm-hmm. and a lot of the views of the population are not necessarily reflected by the polit- politics of, of the day tell me about it mm. Because now we uh, we also had a had a conversation about this uh, and you were bashing me about not voting and it didn't sit well with me because I didn't vote but again once I started thinking about it I was like ah, if majority if if democracy the definition of democracy is majority rules right so there's a lot more people that didn't vote than the people that did vote. So I think well, there's a lot of people who are speaking more into the the, the, the the minority part of the population which voted, mm. but they don't necessarily speak about the people, the general population that didn't vote. Their thoughts, their views are not necessarily represented mm. Mm. In, uh, in, in any political discourse. So that's the one thing that... that uh, I was able to understand and think about Thara because now with me not voting, I was confused as to what I'm actually voting for. Mm-hmm. Because sometimes it feels like you're voting for someone's ego. Sometimes it feels like you're voting for a representation of something that you want, but not really uh, in terms of like materially and actually getting what, what you think you're voting for. I think you're contradicting yourself because you are saying you felt bad for not voting mm-hmm. and for not registering. Yes. And now you are saying voting is a waste of time. I, I don't know what is your point there, but I would ask you, like, if you voted, mm-hmm. what would you have voted for and why? That's, that's, that's why I can understand. What I, I, get I said I felt bad after you told me, not vo- uh, you bashed me about not voting. Mm, but remember where it's coming voting. from. You wanted to discuss uh, results with me. Uh-huh. And I'm like, I'm not going to discuss results of <laughs> elections. Yeah. Okay. Why do you care about what's happening right now mm. when you couldn't even go and cast the vote? Because I'll yeah. tell you what's my view about the mm. people who didn't vote. Okay. People who didn't vote, those who don't care, mm-hmm. ignorant, mm-hmm. and uh, lazy. Okay. And some got discouraged by uh, the, the long queues and everything. Mm-hmm. Because I remember, I don't know for, for what reason. I mean, I stood on the line for more than three hours. Mm-hmm. I think we have precious times. Yeah. Uh, we have precious things to do with our mm-hmm. time. Mm-hmm. And I think it's something that I wish the local government elections mm-hmm. can be avoided. Mm-hmm. But I felt that actively I have a voice mm-hmm. in what's happening in the country. Okay. Uh, I can. I'm going there to vote for my party or my parties. Mm-hmm. You understand? Because it's three ballots mm. that we received. So I felt like it's a, it's active citizenry, mm-hmm. and also for the fact that this right to vote, people died for it. People mm-hmm. wanted it because we never had a say. Now that we have a power to determine who must rule us. We taking it for granted, you see. Mm-hmm. So that is me, but it's also your democratic right mm-hmm. to not vote. In fact, you have participated mm-hmm. in the elections by not voting. Mm-hmm. It's also your democratic right. You yeah. participated passively. Yes. And uh, if you were my son, mm-hmm. I would tell you that I think there's something wrong with you. <laughs> okay. I would think you need to really reconsider and look at the broader picture. And Mm -hmm. the second thing that made me bash you is that I didn't expect you from somebody with a sharp mind Mm -hmm. like you. Mm -hmm. And, but you acknowledge that you should have uh, done something Mm -hmm. and voted. Mm -hmm. But but Mm -hmm. what would you have voted for and why? Now, now looking at it, uh, 
because again, I still think I, I, again, I still think whether or not if I if I had voted, should I withdraw my question because it's not going to be answered? Ne? No, it, I I'm coming to to your question. Okay, I'm coming to your question because I want to uh, give substance to what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. based of, I think what the elections were rigged. Personally, me personally, mm-hmm. I think the elections were rigged. I In think favor of, obviously, the DA. Mm. Uh, and the, I don't know if they call them the right, the, the, the central right or the... Why do you uh, think so? Of course, it, it was obvious because based off like all the manifestos that I heard, né? I heard the EFF's manifesto. So the EFF manifesto and based off the media, the, the media output, the EFF manifesto, it, it, it actually uh, speaks to my, it speaks to my, 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 what I feel as a citizen of this country, uh, the land must be uh, brought back. Uh, there should be serious concessions when it comes to like the e- economic. Uh, rep- I think there should be reparations for, for for the economics as well. I think or the economics of the country are skewed far, uh, uh, are skewed more into the white uh, into the white minority group mm. than the. It doesn't necessarily reflect the actual demographic of the country. Mm. However, with the EFF messaging, I would have voted for the EFF. However, the messaging, the, the package that was, that, that, that was brought to, to me personally by the mm. EFF, I believe it wasn't robust enough for me to believe that I'll be able to get what I want because I don't think, I think as, uh, they were bouncing around issues that affect me so on the one hand i am pro 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 south africa uh, reparations and getting our land mm. on the other hand i'm against uh, illegal immigration and migration without actually uh, fixing our internal our internal uh, mm. internal in south africa i will tell you why i don't think da rigged elections okay it's because of millions of people like you who didn't vote. Yeah, but millions like, like millions of people. Like Reckless me. people. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ignorant. Okay. Stupid. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, well, I can't comment. I can't comment on that. But did I paralyze you? <laughs> I'm not really because there's layers to this. The soccer like mm. there's more people like even as men as me. Né? I'm I'm just like a mere mortal. I'm just a mere human mm. living. Né? Men as me. There's still a significant amount of people that didn't vote. It's not just me. For the same reasons you have. Hey, because now you can we can't necessarily say that we're ignorant whilst we have issues that affect us greatly. On the ground. Ne? So my point there isn't anyone. Oh, oh, oh. Can you agree, madam? Okay. My point is that why do you accuse people of rigging elections when people woke up mm-hmm. and went to vote for the TA? People woke up. Mm. When I don't know what you were doing that day, whether it was a bright day for you, whether it was what? I was at work. Yeah, you were at work, you didn't care. So there are many people like you who didn't vote. And then I think you're the last person to go and accuse another party to, to, to have actually rigged. All I'm saying is that we need to now speak to people around us about okay. the whole thing of voting. Uh-huh. And maybe we can get the more accurate uh, 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 number in terms of those who... Uh, uh, who voted. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you a DA strategy that they use, Mm -hmm. which I think it was effective. Mm -hmm. One thing that other political parties should look at, Mm -hmm. DA has systems. Are you aware DA is the only party that sent us individual SMSs? Mm -hmm. Most of us, we got SMSs from the DA. DA, And Mm -hmm. it is through networks like MTN and Vodacom. Mm -hmm. It looks like they know Mm -hmm. or they have an arrangement Mm -hmm. with this big they would tailor messages that he direct on our phone, mm. however intrusive it is. And I think this is a point of discussion mm. in terms of the fairness okay. from other parties. Mm. And it's also invasive. I mean, why do you send me 
an SMS when I haven't given you a number. Yeah, exactly. My number. You understand what I'm talking about? And the narrative that DA rigged, mm-hmm. I don't think what the points that DA got, mm-hmm. the number of votes, is actually the reflection of the count. Mm-hmm. It is many factors, mm-hmm. including how they ran their campaigns, mm-hmm. but also how people passively... Uh, uh, because many people will tell you that we're not happy with the NC, then mm-hmm. we decided not to vote because there is no other party. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm talking about? But now you are making... It's like right now uh, in the studio. Mm-hmm. You can see if you check the crew. Okay. We are eight now. Yeah. If we have to vote for someone mm-hmm. or for something or for a, a certain cause mm-hmm. and three decide to pull mm-hmm. out, then it's five remaining yeah. to vote for that particular thing. And one spoils the ballot. Mm-hmm. Then we have four. Mm-hmm. Then three says this. It's not actually a true reflection of the rule. So we need to take responsibility and approach elections differently when they come next time. I think we must agree on that one. Yeah, yeah. Sure. What's the second thing that caught your attention? Uh, besides like the yeah. GNU and um, what else? You're not happy with the GNU? Oh, definitely, I'm not happy with the GNU. Mm. Uh, that's, that's, and I've always had this thing, uh, thinking of it like retrospect, because I've always believed that uh, the whole 94 uh, giving uh, the, 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 the new democracy, the new... The government the of new, National Utica, 1994. 1994. You, were, you also against that? Yeah, well, I'm, hmm. I'm, I'm also... I don't, I don't think... I think or ANC was set up to fail so that the government should be taken uh, over again. Hmm. Because even with all the things, all the systems in play, ne, uh, I think... They were set up. I think or the, there's some level of incompetence in the ANC. Mm. I also still believe or there were some lev- so some elements of intelligence where we could have been far than we are now. Mm. However, the, the the incompetence and the the compromised elements in the ANC are the ones that actually were able to overtake uh, the whole the whole system. And even in retrospect, listening to Mandela as well. Mandela always said that. The ANC is made out of a lot of uh, ideologies. It's a broad church. It's a broad church. So mm. essentially, uh, anyone can just get anything from the ANC. So, but uh, through time and with now, even now, we can see that uh, well, that was problematic because of the fang- yeah, the factions in the in the ANC as well. Because uh, others are pulling left, others are pulling right. So I think overall they were uh, meant to fail. And I'm not necessarily surprised uh, of the outcome of the GNU. I was uh, more, more so disappointed. Mm. Uh, because even now, you tell me to vote. Ne? You, 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 please vote, please vote, Mara. You can't necessarily tell me what to vote for. Mm. Ne? You're only just saying vote. And there were about 3,000 uh, uh, po- uh, political parties on the ballot paper. So, mm. There were not 3,000, though. Yeah. Uh, there were not 3,000. Uh, uh, so I was just saying. Mara. Okay. There were a lot of uh, political parties, mm. uh, splinter splinter parties, if you will. Some were, some were just garbage parties. The manifestos were just garbage, but they were there either way. Mm. So I think with that, people would say vote, and I see a lot of like content people saying, "Ah, no vote, yeah, go, go vote, please practice your vote." But I don't think it, it would have changed the outcome of what the the the, the results. Would have been it would. Your vote would have counted, my brother. If, as you are saying, you are going to vote for the EFF, if EFF mm. got 1.3 uh, votes, it mm. would have been 1.3, what, 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 zero, one because mm. of your vote. Yeah. I don't know if we, we're going to agree about that. Yeah. yeah the fact, yeah, yeah. the reason we have the outcome we have is because of people like you who democratically mm-hmm. chose not to vote. Yeah, but this, this, that's why there's also, you have to also understand, or it's not, it's not just me. I know you're saying more 60% of the people, and I think what the people, the voter turnout was about less than 43%, right? So there's about 67% of people that didn't, didn't vote. 
mm. which accounts to the ma- uh, the majority. Mm. There's actually a lot a lot more reasons than just being ignorant and stupid. That percentage would be lower if you voted. Yeah, for what? Well, you tell me, advise me as to what I should do. You're cont- you're, I'm not going to tell you what to vote for. Mm-hmm. My point is, nah, I want political consciousness. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Uh, Styles didn't vote, mm-hmm. even though he was registered to yeah. vote. Uh, states, mm-hmm. these are our production people, yeah. they didn't vote, even though they were registered to vote. Yes. You understand what I'm talking about? Yeah. I am worried about young people not really taking voting seriously and not actually understanding how powerful that is. And also not thinking about what change their votes can make. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm worried about. And that's why I have a program that encourages people to vote. Mm. Register to vote, register to vote. But I don't tell them what to vote for. I just want that level of political consciousness. Yeah. You understand what I'm talking about? Yeah. That is actually where I am right now. So yes. it is like uh, uh, we are saying in the community, uh, there is someone who's robbing, uh, uh, who's getting into the houses, breaking in. Mm-hmm. And you are saying, ah, there's nothing I can do about it. When maybe other men wake up at night to patrol yeah. and do this and that. And yeah. the following day, when uh, you're going to say, yeah, but what's on? Uh, I can't do anything because of crime is high in my area. Mm-hmm. I don't know if this example is relevant. But let's leave the politics thing. Okay. Or let's leave this GNU thing. I think maybe you've made your point and I respect your points yeah. and your views. Which other matter that is contemporary that you think it caught your attention for the past month or two or so? Whether it's mm-hmm. entertainment... Uh, I would say also ish, American politics. American you know, politics. American politics. Yeah. Uh, I saw the debate between Biden and, and Trump. Uh, it went terrible. I wasn't but, following that. Uh, it went terrible. Yes. yes. Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Biden is the worst president of all presidents. I think or, there's no worse, worse president. I think or the guy in... in uh, when, what was the country that was uh, that had a coup last year? Guinea Bissau or something. That there was an old frail president oh, that, that couldn't talk. Strong guy. And I say an old frail president. He couldn't even talk. I think he was in a coma or something. But he mm. he was still running the country and whatever. I think I I I'm not sure of the country. I stand to be corrected. But I think Biden is actually one of the worst worst presidents that I've ever seen. Personal. Mm. Uh, Trump. Trump has has. has is it, is it his ideology or his approach to things or his age right now? I think it's just a combination of all all that you just said. Mm. I think the approach uh, it's it's terrible. I think also even it's even uh, as well as his age. I think or he's not. Because even Mandela, I think Mandela was about what 70, 70 something when he said when he, he he was president. Then he only stood for a year. Then he, he two years, one year or two years. But even within his reign of being a president, he wasn't really because he was also uh, going around the world. He was more of a diplomat than an actual president. So mm. I think there's a certain age that uh, I think Trump as well as, as how old is Biden? Can't. Ah, but then I'm sure he's nearing his 80s. I, I, I mm. tend to be corrected. If, is, is, is there any fact check? Or, but I think he's in his 80s. <laughs> you, are, you are the fact checker here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can't even know what, you I can check it. Sure. You can check it, Kafo, now. But yeah. um, I, I saw also a clip where Biden was introducing Zelensky, mm-hmm. the president of uh, Ukraine. Mm. And he, he said, ladies and gentlemen, the president of Ukraine, <laughs> Putin. <laughs> Putin. <laughs> I saw that. Yeah, yeah, he's 81. And he said he's our Putin. He's 81. He's 81. Eh? Yeah. My, my mom is 80. Yeah. And very sharp. Mm-hmm. Very sharp. I, she voted. Eh? Um, <laughs> I, uh, she voted. We even discussed why she's voting for the party she's voting for. Mm-hmm. And she would give me valid reasons why. She's sharp. She, you, I hold a conversation with her, mm-hmm. without thinking, ah, this woman is old. 
Okay, I see. I want, yeah. So I don't know, maybe to a certain extent, uh, we use age as a barrier for other things, but also maybe it's also it's important mm-hmm. to also know but what but uh, at a certain age maybe it is not the right time. And I think that's a result of young people not participating in maybe politics. Mm. Then it keeps these people who are older to stay there for a long time. You understand? Mm-hmm. Mara Biden, I don't know whether it's also a health thing. My mom walks. Mm-hmm. I can say well, maybe it's because of the food they ate yeah. or what. Because she's hardly sick. Mm. She walks, like, she goes to church, she walks, yeah. no stick, nothing. Yeah. But Biden, what take a day, come on. <laughs> yeah. So I, I was like, maybe there is an, uh, maybe underlying health issues. issues. Yeah, it's been said that he, he might have uh, earlier symptoms of Alzheimer. Mm. So th- that's what the America, uh, American uh, reporters purport. So mm. don't hold me to it. But the, 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 the for me personally, I'm not a doctor by any capacity, but I, I, I do believe uh, by the definition of Alzheimer, he has early symptoms. He shows that he has early symptoms of Alzheimer as well. Mm. Uh, Trump, on the other hand, they're, they're, they're about the same age, or maybe he's, he's older, but I mm. think Trump is far much sharper than uh, uh, Biden because Trump... Donald Trump. Yeah. Mm. I, 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 once, uh, I saw a comment. I'm wrapping up a show, my man. I'll call you back. Uh, I saw a, a tweet somewhere. Someone said that um, they would rather vote for someone who is a self-made billionaire than someone who became a, 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 a millionaire through politics. Mm. Because someone who's made the billions for himself, by himself, understand uh, generally how things work uh, practically so now for someone who just makes laws and by just making a law then you get a, a you get shares somewhere you're, you're, you're part of a, some consortium mm. uh, you 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 so i don't i don't believe like how our 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 presidents or our elites are in south mm. africa the whole mm. BEE thing i don't think or it gives any uh, credence to our ability as people to to say all right yeah we can actually achieve something because all the people that we have that we can boost about as but, people, on a but, but we, we you know this thing here also Mela, shouldn't be something we are surprised to see mm-hmm. remember the ANC since 1912 mm. were fighting for the seat on the table yeah the first argument that the ANC was that uh we are educated. Mm. Fine. Black people are not participating, are not disc- uh, 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 um, voting. Mm. Or, Mara, look at us. You can't exclude us. Yeah. We are the elite. Mm-hmm. We are educated. We have an education mm-hmm. and all that. that was, that's why it was formed by mostly people who were educated with degrees and all that. Yeah. And that's what it attracted. So, NC, uh, uh, Always had people who wanted the seat at the table, yeah. And that's why other people are uh, uh, arguing that ANC is not a revolutionary uh, uh, party. They didn't actually. It's not about the revolution. It was about themselves wanting to have a party. Yeah. And that's why uh, uh, when this thing started, the BEs and everything, it was prioritized. Yeah. More comrades. And yeah. then people shouldn't be surprised because. Apparently, that's what ANC has been representing all along. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what I'm saying. Mm. Uh, and it wasn't something that they had made obvious. Mm. And, uh, it, it was made as if though this is a party for the people and... Uh, and every, must liberate people. Must liberate people. So it's not something, it's not a social club where... Yeah, yeah I think I need to correct this. That ANC is a liberation movement. Uh-huh. They are saying no. They were protecting their interests. They just wanted the peace yeah. of the pie. Yeah, essentially that that that's what it was. Because I once read somewhere because uh, even the north mm. uh, back then I think it was called uh, uh, Transvaal. 
here in Limpopo, this part of Limpopo. What is was it? Was it Transvaal? Northern Transvaal or something? Northern Transvaal. Mm. Uh, before the war, it was that they had to annex uh, the Babidi Kingdom. I think in eighteen eighteen seventy nine. Mm. Twelve years later, I think it was nineteen. I stand to be corrected. I'm just. Going I don't to, know. Yeah. Yeah, but we don't have a fact the, gov- the, the, the the government of South Africa was actually instituted by early early nineteen hundreds. Mm. By nineteen ten, it was an official government. Mm. So South Africa didn't exist. Prior nineteen and uh, let's say nineteen nineteen zero one, I don't think South Africa had existed mm. before nineteen zero one. Or oh, it has, but not being called a republic it was, or whatever. It wasn't called a republic yeah. or South Africa. Or South Africa. Yes. So it was just, uh, but just so places where people claimed land and wherever. So that's when we lost land, didn't it? No, we we actually, partially, yeah, we lost. For me, yes, because I'm busy. Uh, we lost the land in in 1879. Yeah? Mm. That's where the Skukun War uh, war uh, happened. Yeah? Mm. And because of that, the, that's where the the Buru, the Afrikaners, took over the north. Mm. Yeah? And also the Eastern Cape as well, from mm. my understanding. I think the one was the Orange Fruit. There there was I don't remember what they call themselves, but there was a there was some group of Afrikaners which were in the north, and mm. some were in the Eastern Cape. Mm. So they had groupings where uh, this side after after they annexed the the, the Kingdom in uh, 18, 1879, I think twelve years later that's where they had negotiations with the. English. Mm. I'm talking about the Buru, the Buru, the Afrikaners. They had negotiations with the English to combine and to uh, collectively call this uh, 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 to to make this uh, an actual country, the state of South Africa. Mm. So that's where they had uh, they had to have political parties which were representative then of only English people and Afrikaners. That's when, by 1910, that's where ANC was formed uh, to actually combat. That's why uh, ANC, from my understanding, it was a, co- a, a combination of tribal leaders and educated people as well. Mm. Yeah. By 1913, because they hadn't recognized them by 1910, uh, by 1913, uh, that's where they passed the law of actually taking all the land. Mm. That that belonged to to the natives. Mm. Yeah. So, with that, I think we're, that's actually, and it's actually from from the annexation of the Bapedi Kingdom to the democracy. I think it's a twelve year difference. I think mm. that that happened in in about like twelve years. I hear Kukuni gave them trouble there. Yeah, of course. What happened? He had to, from understanding, and from what I read. And from what uh, folk tell people, from mm. what people tell us, tell us, is that he was uh, defiant, and he resisted the fact that someone from a foreign land will tell him what to do in his own land. Mm. Because uh, I I once read somewhere that there were some some kingdoms I don't want to name them, but there were some kingdoms that have that had uh, uh, assimilated to Christianity. Mm. Uh, and Skukun didn't didn't have any of that. He didn't want any Christian Christianity or whatever missionaries, missionaries to come. He didn't like yeah. them. So, so what you're saying is that, do you think Christianity was also a very potent weapon? Well, of course. In 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 colonizing Africa or South Africa. Well, de- definitely, mm. definitely, hundred percent. It goes back to one of the reasons as to why I'm a barber as well because now. You, people are calling themselves by peop, uh, names by by people they don't even know. They're claiming lands that they've never even been, even their ancestors have never been. So because of a a, a, a Bible, mm. because of a scripture somewhere. Mm. So I think or like it played a huge role, a huge significant role, uh, in in the disintegration of of an African mind. So Skukuni rejected uh, these uh, colonialists and the, the approaches they had in terms of go lending your high. They didn't yeah. want that. I didn't want that. And they had to make a plan to topple. Yeah, they had to make a plan. Mm. Because I usually see how 
for me to understand what happened in the past, I have to actually understand what what's happening now. Mm. And there's some elements of what happened in the past that uh, replay themselves today. Mm. So I think if you if you don't if you're an uh, if you don't like what the power structure enforces on you, there has to be ways. There are many ways to kill a cow or a kill a cat. So they have they have ways in which they can actually penetrate. It's either they sub sub they sabotage you or they turn someone against you or they kill you outright or they wage war. So mm. those were used against Kukuna. I think he 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 had an army of at the f- the first time they tried to uh to 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 everywhere they 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 had uh, farmland where they had farmland where they had cows uh the the cows the the, the Afrikaners who steal the cows and the English who steal the cows trying to starve the nation uh but he has he had ways but the the nail that the the final nail on the coffin was when uh, there were actually four armies against one army mm. of the Wapi, which were the, the 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 Swati, the Swati. I think there were more, mm. uh, and the Brits also as the Afrikaner mm. as well, and as well as the the, the some parts of our uh, of the Wapidis that were against the reign of Skuku. Because mm, there's always be there'll always be people who are against of course the rule. Mm, mm. Yeah, that's what happened to Gaddafi as well. Mm. Uh, in Libya, so yeah, that's how they were. The, they were able to topple Skukune. Then after that, they, it was called the Transvaal. Then after that, it was called uh, yeah, I think it was called the Transvaal for for a long time. It only changed names mm. back in before. Yeah, but Northern Province. Yeah, but Northern Province. Mm. Yeah. Then then Limpopo. After. Then Limpopo after. Mm. Yeah. So, and essentially something that. That happened over a hundred year period, and in between that, there's someone that had lived through that experience. Mm. But because of the day to day politics of it, because I, I also heard uh, that the poet Bergma, this guy, I will like something about the 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 Skukune family uh, going trying to sue the government. Mm. Or uh, trying to get some level of compensation or recognition of what they did to Hoshimampu uh, uh, at the prison, hmm. uh, uh, the Pretoria Central Prison, which is now called Hoshimampu. The reason of, for them to call it Hoshimampu is because Hoshimampu was hanged twice naked and his neck uh, apparently broke, and uh, there were small kids watching him. Hmm. So those are some traumas that uh, us as the people that were under that kingdom are still affected by. And it's hmm. something, it's, it's something yellow, as such why I are saving now. And uh, partly, I don't want to go back to the, to, 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 to the voting thing, but partly I think there's a significant amount of people that don't believe in the, in the, in the Roman Dutch law or the constitution because it's hmm. based off Roman Dutch law. They believe that how can something which was constituted and written by the Romans and the Dutch will help me as a baby man? Mm. Mm. Yeah. So I can't be surprised as to how this the country, how how the current country is with uh, high uh, high levels of inequality. Uh, I'm not even surprised because the constitution works for the Romans and the Dutch. I see. Yeah. I see. You define yourself as a petty man. Mm-hmm. Um, for the last 10 minutes, mm-hmm. you talking, mm-hmm. your look and everything. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't think anyone would identify you, but what defines you as a petty man? Uh, no, no, no. Before you do the Liam, I think, yeah. what actually defines you as a petty man when you stand and say, oh, people will see this is a petty man standing? I think it's not, a, it's not even about seeing. I think okay. it's all about like the conduct. The conduct. Yeah, my conduct. And uh, also understanding where I'm from. Uh, like now, 
that us having this conversation, we're able to tell that I'm a bitty man based off the fact that I'm talking about bitty things. Mm. So not only that, I think or more so for me, understanding that everyone has a has a has a culture. Mm. There's about 142 or 170 countries in the world. There's over 7 billion people. Each and every single person, I think they have uh, uh, they have a right uh, check the mic there. Suddenly, was was paid when I ask you, like, what defines your opinion? But I think it's a challenge yeah. to even the viewers. Yeah. Uh, what defines uh, uh, who we are? Are we losing uh, 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 that Africanism mm -hmm. or the Africans that we are? If on the ground, we if we haven't opened our mouths, mm. would people know who we are now? Before we we said, uh, maybe I'm son of Gazan. Yeah. Before I say that, mm. maybe it's 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 a challenge that we need to look at right now yeah. as Africans. Sorry. Yeah. That identity, haven't we lost identity now? And it's, it, I think this should be a very a, a debate, a critical debate that we need to have. Yeah. Uh, and also even to me, uh, like if you ask me a question, what defines you as a Tonga man? Mm -hmm. I might not uh, maybe have actually responded. Mm -hmm. So it's a question that came now because you mentioned that fact that you're a petty man yeah but don't maybe we need to revisit yeah the discussion the of how do we have to be identified yeah because identity is everything yeah um i would tell you a white man mm -hmm. you'd know it's either is british or what what there's a certain identity yeah that you can see yeah. then maybe what are the issue here dress code yeah. We associated Kilibur. This one. Cultural, yeah. You understand? Yeah. But Rena right now, um, there is I can live in Peter. That can actually live in Ebon Chorik in Africa. I can live in Peter. Yeah, yeah, go high, yes, Changan. On me. Yeah. And maybe maybe this conversation is making us raise very serious things. Mm -hmm. We maybe we are not even Africans, mm -hmm. or we have lost touch. How about Ilibele? Well, I don't, personally, I don't believe that there's a, that there's any con, there's a concept called lost lost touch of, mm -hmm. of your Africanity because I study a lot and I've studied more so uh, African American culture. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, those are the people that were enslaved. But now, as the world is today, ne, they influence more of the world than any other African mm, mm. in the world. Ne? And they, they have been believed to not have a culture. They, they influence the way we talk, they influence the way we dress, but they don't have a culture, apparently, because they had, they, they had lost connection with the motherland. And I believe that culture is not something which is... Which is uh, you can't contain culture. Uh, culture has different forms. I, I, I don't think or me wearing the peta makes me more of an African than any other person. Uh, I think or perspective is the one that makes me what I am. And I still believe I, we, we, we only use like uh, words like black, you're black, I'm black, African, African, just to... I think we're not personally. Personally, if we were to talk about it, but I think I think you missed story. me there. I was not talking about culture, huh? identity. I agree. You you identify as a petty man, mm -hmm. but remember, the image mm -hmm. is one important thing. Yeah, that makes people see or become one identity. Yeah, from our image mm -hmm. right now, mm -hmm. all of us in this studio. Mm -hmm. There's no reflection of 
where we come from. There yeah. is no identity. Yeah. Something that identifies us with our culture. Yeah. Remember, culture ke, ke, ke shared beliefs yeah. and customs yeah. uh, uh, that have been passed mm. from Khale till now. Yeah. Something broke that thing, and that's colonialism. Okay. You spoke about yeah. what led you to over a pub. Yeah. I'm bringing a, a, across a point mm. right now yeah. that those past customs and norms they are no longer reflecting on how we look right now. Me included. And I'm challenging everyone listening to this story. Maybe we need to have a discussion about our identity mm. as Africans. But I think or, we can still find our identity. Mm. Because like what you're saying now, as, as, you, as you're making an example with, the, uh, with us in the room right now, you're saying or, there's nothing which represents us as, as being African. I, Mm. As baby, there's, there's nothing baby about you. Yeah, but we, we can even go to China as well. Ch Chinese are the ones that are uh, very cultural and they make sure whatever that they do. You can't see a Chinese. Yeah? You can't see a Chinese. Uh, by, 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 uh, like uh, the, the, the physical, the, 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 by him being Chinese, yeah, I yeah. can see he's Chinese. He's Chinese. But the, the rest code. What can I see that you are baby? Yeah? What's baby about you now? Uh, there isn't there isn't anything pedia but that's the thing like you, you can i can't come to you and say <laughs> that's why a lot of african americans struggle with it as well mm. yeah? some americans look more african than actual africans yeah? mm. and they always been told hey when well, you look like an african but they don't want to associate themselves to mm. uh, i'm not i'm not going to challenge that statement or get on it but mm. when you are alone at home relook at it some Americans are not Africans, and what you just said there. Yeah, Mar, Mar, it's, it's an ongoing thing online. Was mm. you can actually see online Twitter. There's a public discourse of on their approach and the perspective of all Africans. And now I'm only calling us Africans because of like the being being able to be politically correct. Now, personally, if you were to ask me a question. I don't perceive myself as black. I don't see myself as black. I don't see myself as an African. Mm. Are many people black? I, not for me personally, they're not. Mm. Uh, black is a, it's a word which was imposed on us. Even in our natural language, in general, yeah. speaking, ne? even black, black is not commonly used to, to mm. refer to us. Mm. Naturally, if I was to say uh, a black person in my language, ne? Then come to the uh, uh, description of a human. I describe you as a human first, then the color la uh, last. That's why every language under South Africa, Mm. Uh, mm. you're describing human then the color last so i think or it's just a thing that we which was imposed on us even if i can even tell you this uh, give you this case that we go outside uh, you're parking your car then someone comes along hey, maho, hey, hey, yes yes i hate that thing yeah yeah. So that's more of a, it's not necessarily a, a color. Mm. It's not necessarily, but it's actually an economic term which is used now. Mm. Mm. So that was used for whites, only whites back then. Now it's being used towards everyone. Why? Because it's no longer a white thing, it's an economic thing. Mm. Yeah. So anyone who believes that they, they you have more money than them, and uh, those are terms commonly used uh, uh, for white people in the past. Now they've mm. been used uh, to towards everyone. Now, so I believe, or uh, coming back to your to to your question about uh, culture, I still think our culture just moves forward because there, there are some things, Jailor, we they're not naturally from from uh, South Africa or Africa, ne? Mm. Uh, I don't want to put it. 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 I don't want to
So there were there's some parts of Sereto Sela Baula Lagata Baya, Mabele, my Mabela no Jua Ajola Lamaho. So Mabela and a meaning were as not native to our our land. Mm. Maize is not na- native, native to our land. It's not even native mm. to our land. So we get that through the Rato Jari. That's why it makes us sick. Yeah. We even die quicker than, yeah, than we, we shouldn't should. be. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that's that's my take. And I think what this culture, the culture is just perspective. I believe what culture is perspective. There's a lot of people that are baby with women or not. Ne? Mm. There's a lot of people who are closer women or not. There's a lot of people who are Zulu because if we're to look at it, uh, if every uh, level are straight, even like the Zulu nation, it's made out of a combination of, of different uh, subgroups of people. Mm. Even if you give the example of Limpopo, Limpopo na laga mata, la o na laga patel, o na laga mama, 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 mama. Those people have their own constituencies. Mm. So the the from my understanding, if I want to understand things that uh, how governance was well, uh, uh, used to work in the past, mm. it will mean or everyone has their own constituency, then everything will be filtered through. The the, uh, the person who uh, has the the, the 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 credence. Now that you mentioned Ram Pashal, you know I learned a few weeks ago yeah. that especially those people, in fact, are Tsonga people. Yeah. Uh, ba Maake, ba, they were coming from Maake. Uh, they were coming from Saitele, Boma Palule, Kian, and they settled. Uh, in Rampasel. Yeah. Then Bahupela died. Then Bahupela Udul. Like yeah. the stronger people who Tonga settled people, there in Rampasel. Yeah. But if it's Bahupela or no, Rahupela grass space. Yeah. Then by Puzo, the only way to identify, because we like issue identity. Yeah. To identify with petty people, they must learn. Mm-hmm. So strong. that's why Barry, you will go to our Mosrat on Savona. It also, there are some connotations are. Batsuakai like ki ki yeah. You understand? But what I wanted to bring to you is that what do we identify as? And it's not a question you must answer now. And yeah. I think I've actually eh, 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 lamented on it enough. Yeah. That leaving me, mm-hmm. I identify as a, a, a as a as a tsonga man. Yeah. Uh, my mom is Tsuan. Yeah. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Uh, uh, I mean, I have an A in Zwan, Yeah. So, but identity. Now, when I say I identify as a Zonga man, mm. I now have a new challenge. Mm. Uh, in terms of image, yeah. what should one see in Projection. a Zonga man? Yeah, but I can We are in an era of globalization yeah, yeah. and 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 fashion and mm-hmm. and all that, and even the clothes we're wearing now because yeah. it's called uh, maybe even a bit warm. Yeah, uh, or maybe matlalola <laughs> natur kawat, unless yeah. maybe we did read lady kovaka and yeah. all that. Yeah. Mara, the issue of identity and culture. Mm-hmm. That's why this issue of language again. Mm. Uh, uh, I mean, a program go Northwest University. Uh, indigenous language media yeah and how language is one of those things that one sang our cultural identity and where we come from they yeah. carry with tradition and history mm-hmm. you understand yeah and to a point yeah even my research mm. is about uh, the political economy of podcasting in mm. indigenous languages okay and uh, my method includes also interviews with the top uh, uh, three mm. podcasts in Limpopo in terms of numbers. Yeah. Which Borichi uh, B, uh, 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 Limpopo podcast, yeah, are yeah, also yeah, involved. Yeah. Yeah. But thing, the usage of the language. Mm. Uh, 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 because we, we are losing ourselves, my brother. Yeah. I know that maybe Ibile we express ourselves even better and even when we're conducting this podcast, we are saying someone somewhere up there, mm. out there overseas can be able to hear when we talk. Yeah. Mara, 
we need to revisit our identity also with regard to language yeah also with regard to image image yes Can, that is what i'm challenging you on mm. and also challenging myself mm. about mm. anything entertainment we need to touch on uh, uh i don't know what you have in mind i just saw something now uh about uh Prince KB, I think Naro Hanale Maporesa not long ago mm -hmm. about issue as a trill. Yeah. Uh, uh, saying uh, somebody was closing doors for Yena. Mm -hmm. And I think it was alleging that Maporesa did that. But I don't know if there's anything entertainment wise that you that has actually caught your attention before we wrap this up. Yeah, we can also talk about that as well because also I also understand or um Music is something which is natural to, let's just say Africans, to all Africans, mm -hmm. uh, whether in Africa or in the diaspora. It's something which will always, always come natural. Mm -hmm. uh, the monetization of music in of mm -hmm. itself is a foreign concept. Mm -hmm. It's something a lot of living artists themselves don't understand. So when you think or by just singing, uh, then you're done, you just, like everything is done, then you just, your, your, send your grave everything under the sun, which is O2, and it's not as simple as that, because, but for the first people who monetize the music, they understood the fact, or uh, as much as this guy can get, gather three, 30 people here, and them giving him coins, he can actually do that in an auditorium. Mm. If someone was to build an auditorium and sell tickets, they would actually make more money. Mm. Then the invention of radio was, uh, uh, that happened. And when radio came through, then they were playing the radio. They, they essential, it's essentially what radio did to music. Uh, it, it helped make music what it is today. Mm. So coming to say Trail and DJ Mapurisa, a lot of artists, even especially Africans, mm. they should be able to understand. Or as much as music comes natural, I could one of the take it for granted because it's natural, it's music. We've been listening to it for years. It's something it's ancient with us, sounded residents. But in terms of the business of music, mm -hmm. I think work is something all artists should study and all artists should understand. You shouldn't be giving your your and what the one musician that I love in, in South Africa is Kiki Munal. Kimunada, mm. he has his own corner. Mm. He does his own thing. Nobody bothers him. He's, he, he doesn't have any artist that I know of. He's his own artist. Mm. Uh, he has his own label. So I think or, uh, people like uh, Kimunada should be uh, uh, somewhat of a, a representation of all of of all of what artists all artists should be at least we agree about one thing after many weeks yeah. we have engaged i was presenting about kim monata a paper about kim monata last week yeah. his music tapestry yeah with regard to how he advocates for kilobit language yeah and how he has opened doors mm -hmm. for the language itself to be spoken with pride yeah and even many other artists that came. Yeah. Kim Munada takes his interviews in mm -hmm. Kilobedu. Yeah. Wherever he goes. He's yeah. that ambassador of Kilobedu language. Yeah. And that's why it's actually being able to be passed. There are things that are uh, uh, but, but, but the, the one method I use is textual analysis. Mm -hmm. There are things that are passed from Khale that mm -hmm. you can only understand in Kim Munada's songs because he's yeah. saying them in Kilobet yeah. uh, language, yeah. which is a wonderful thing. I think mm -hmm. the, the province, uh, uh, the Department of Sports, Art and Culture, yeah. they, they, they owe him a lot. Mm -hmm. The universities, mm -hmm. they still need to honor Kim Munada, Munada what, he, yes. what he did. Because also through his collaboration, mm -hmm. when he collaborates with Maporisa, yeah. and he comes in Ka Kilobet, yeah. and there are many people who sing along mm. to Kilobedu. Yeah. Uh, 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 not knowing even what the words mean. Mm. And we must, and I mean, we, we should also understand why uh, President Cyril Ramaphosa mm. once came and told the Balobedu that 
they're going to they're considering making a Kilobedu an official language mm. to add on the 12th, including the sign language yeah. uh, because of I mean remember Kilobedu has about 134 chieftains only like the 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 Kilobedu fans like it's a yeah. lot they've occupied a certain big part yeah. it's a language if you, you pass now uh, 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 you you pass you reach the hub yeah it's Kilobedu land yeah until the Lizitele Valley from yeah. the other side is big and this language is spoken by many people that's why uh, well I got to learn that the issue out there's a dialect and a mm. language I mean mm. a dialect is a language on its yeah, own yeah, yeah. it's all about how popular the language is yeah. and also how economically active yeah. the language is so yeah I'm glad we spoke about uh, uh, what Kim Monada is doing and which is a program yeah one of things that are Limpopo Music Awards yeah, okay. we encourage people to to sing yeah. in their native language. native language we encourage people to have an identity yeah uh, using language in on their songs yeah and that's why we have best the best song uh, yeah. uh, 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 we have best kilobedu we yeah. we encouraging people best chivenda yeah. uh, 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 and all that yeah. so we are also agreeing that we need to look we need to be ambassadors of languages yeah now i know where and yeah. 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 and if you go to the rambage venando amba Mm. And whether say a teta and teta ngoko, because yeah. I have interest in languages, yeah. and I feel that is one important thing that we should not take it for granted yeah. as, as as Africans, yeah. which you're not identifying as. Yeah. So, but we had a very lovely thing. I think things was not planned, yeah. and I know that we've had a very interesting conversations, and I've learned a lot from your views. Yeah. Uh, how you look at things. I think you analyze things in yeah. a very beautiful way. And the fact that you read yeah. is also good because we have stopped developing ourselves. Yeah. We have stopped being curious as young yeah. people. Mm. And it's something that we need to to go back and do. Yeah. I appreciate that we had this conversation. It was not planned. And there's still so many things. And if I don't cut this podcast right now, I know that we're going to pass three, four, five hours. Yeah. Uh, um, and and maybe we'll do it some other time as we yeah, go in. Yeah. And I really appreciate that I hijacked you <laughs> and we could also talk. Yeah. It was nice to see the first 20 minutes for the first time yeah. where your voice is even shaky. Because yeah. these cameras are not easy to deal with. It's the first time, Mara. I, I, I'll, I'll get used to it. You get used to it. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking forward to another conversation, another discussion that we can have. Yeah. Uh, uh, and we also have, we'll have areas of focus. Yeah. But thank you for listening to Just Talk with DJ Campachino. Please uh, don't forget to subscribe, comment, criticize, and everything. It's really good for the, for the platform. Just talk with DJ Cappuccino by Cappuccino, son of Kazan. Just talk with DJ Cappuccino.